Simon, off the back of the first pre-season friendly, uh, which saw a defeat over uh, Super League side Wakefield Trinity on Sunday. When you've looked back on that game, I think you described it as a four out of ten, a five out of ten on the day. Have you reassessed the performance at all? Have you seen anything more positive on a, on a more positive side from that game? Yeah, it fell back into usual routine of picking it apart and. I haven't changed my mind in terms of assessment. Obviously, a five out of ten is is average. So, five, maybe just below. Yeah, um, it basically just wasn't a reflection of eleven weeks' work for me. I didn't think, um, and the lads thought the same which, as well, which is pleasing because if they thought it were great and I thought it were poor, we'd have had a problem. With it. So, there were positive stuff, as you said. I thought a few individuals um, had good performances within that. I don't think effort was lacking. Um, we, yeah, we just failed to play our way, which credit to Wakefield though, they they were physically imposing um, and got on top of us and, and put the foot on the throat for a little bit there and, and didn't give us an opportunity, which probably frustrated us into making a few more errors than we should have done, but it's all good learning fast, that's what it's for. We came out uh, with Tibbs with a bit of an injury, but other than that, reasonably unscathed other than you know mentally everyone a little bit annoyed at what had gone off, but um, yeah, all good, we'll move on to the next one now. We saw 18-0 at half-time, um, obviously came back in the second half with some nice moves, um, got the first try off a bit of an error from them, but an opportunistic one, and then po possibly the move of the game from a Panthers perspective, the move from the scrum that saw Wormsley score in the corner. Um, is, it, is that a pleasing side? You said that you didn't see a lot of the sort of style that you wanted to from pre-season, but to see a move that you've obviously been working on, uh, work, is, that, is that pleasing well, to you? I didn't even think that looked like a move, it just looked like some early ball and some speed. We've got some speed on the edges, uh, nice to see that I suppose, but yeah, as I say, I think we were just frustrated in the first half, we didn't get off how we wanted to play. I think the second half looked a bit more like us, um, albeit a bit clunky because we had different people in different positions trying some stuff out. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I think any of our fans that have watched us over the last couple of years, I think we are developing an identity of how we play. And, I think it is fair to say that it didn't really look like that. But again, Wakefield had a fair hand in that. Um, but yeah, it was pleasing to see some of those new boys get out there for the first time in Halifax shirt. And you know, I think out on the outside, people probably expect a bit from some of them and maybe not a lot from, from some of the other ones, some of the younger blokes we've signed. But I thought probably the younger ones that that played with a, with a point to prove, if you like. I thought they... Um, I thought they acquitted themselves pretty well and, and got involved in some of that tough stuff. And, and you know, there was some skill involved, particularly obviously Tom Pitt playing a skill position at nine showed some good stuff for us. So, yeah, I, I'm over it now. I'll get over them quite quick. I'm getting better at that sometimes. So, yeah, some, some take longer than others. But, yeah, a friend let over it quite quick and um, fell back into that uh, pattern of review and, and analysing what happened and what we could have done differently. And we've identified that. And hopefully, uh, weather permitting, I'm sure it's going to turn tomorrow, maybe, the weather. We'll all be, we'll be all good for our game at Hunslet on Sunday. We've spoke in previous interviews about um, whether you had an ideal 17 for the Sheffield game in mind. Did you see anything from that Wakefield game against the Super League outfit that's maybe changed the pecking order of what you thought people in certain positions would be? Uh, not as really. Well? Not really, no. I think I don't think we got a lot out of that game, Faz. Um, I thought we got the physical aspect of playing rugby again. and trying to work on some timings, but as far as what we've been working on, we didn't get it. So that's the focus this week. I thought we, uh, they beat us to the punch in, in most areas, Wakefield. So I think for us this week, it's making sure we start on the front foot and, and impose ourselves on the game and our will and how we want to play. Um, but in terms of teams and pecking orders, I think I said before, the halves are safe, aren't they? We haven't got, an, we haven't got a load of them. I thought James would burn all were very good at weekend um, in, in a team that was you know, dominated for the most part particularly for the first 40, but yeah, there were other good performances in amongst. If, if I had to pick a team now, I think I'd find 13 quite easy. Um, how the bench looks, we've got a couple of weeks to ponder that one. Moving on to Sunday then, from a, from a Super League game against Wakefield, we moved to a League One team in Hunslet. Um, what do you hope to get out of a game against League One opposition that you might not have got uh, out of the Wakefield game? I think regardless of what level they play at, they're a good team, I will respect them, but I want to just to go there and, and do, a, do us from minute one as opposed to waiting for it to, for someone else maybe to, to be the catalyst for it. I think just approach it with a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a more confident start, a bit of a more confident mindset and belief in what we're doing. I think um, effort was certainly there over at Wakefield, but I do think we lacked intent. Um, and when I say that, I mean, we were really firing into hit people hard, force errors and 
and in, intimidate with your defence. That's the only opportunity you have these days. There's no more Barry Max knocking around for obvious reasons. Um, and obviously intent with the ball in hand, carrying to properly punch the line as opposed to, I won't say we're going through motions, but I just don't think we played with the vigour we needed. So that's something I'm looking to see has improved this week. But Hunza will be a good test for us. Um, it's not about winning, it's about learning some lessons again. And, and as I say, they'll be good. They've got I know they signed Sam Hallis, they signed uh, Adam Ryder, Rob Warren's he's just signed, they've got a host of good players there and I know Killer's um, quite happy with where they're at and, and they've got aspirations this year, they've, they've chucked a bit at it, they want to be in the hat for promotion so they want to start their pre-season games in, in a good fashion and, and come up with a good performance against us so yeah I think it'll be a good game, uh, weather should turn a little bit kinder tomorrow so hopefully there's no dramas on that front and we get a good 80 minutes over at Hunslet. You mentioned Rob Warrens, he's just signed over there, come out of retirement. There's a few other um, familiar faces, ex Fax boys over there in John Sign and uh, Sean Jones. So it'd be nice to see some of those old faces and, and have a really good game of rugby. You must be hoping that the fans get over to Hunslet as they did at the Wakefield game and, um, and sort of enjoy this start to the year with us. Yeah, I thought it was hard to tell at Wakefield um, in terms of fans and where they were from, with it being testimonial of people from Hull there supporting Reese and whatnot. But I'd, I saw plenty of Halifax jerseys and, and, and tops there, so I think we had a decent turnout. It'd be nice to get it again. I think everyone's just generally looking forward to getting rugby league back in their lives. It's been pretty. It's been a quiet winter. After, you know, the World Cup dominated for a bit, and then it's all just gone real quiet. So I think everyone's ready for it again. So yeah, it's not too far. Um, it will be cold, but we can wrap up, can't we, and get across and, and have a look at the boys, and hopefully we'll, we'll put on a performance that I'm not going to be grumpy about after the game.